Peggy 18. This season on Hardline. I had everything on a platter, and you fucked it up. Partner, she's in trouble. That means we help her. You have the right to remain silent. It was not too long ago when we first started working on this game. It was like, hey, what do you think of Battlefield? And we just started kind of going off on the idea. I would played like, I don't know, hundreds of hours of Battlefield, and it was my number one fun game. But the kind of games that we had made were a whole different sort of world from that. Visceral's not completely new to the Battlefield franchise. For example, we worked on Expansion Pack 5 for Battlefield 3, known as Endgame. And DICE has been invaluable in helping us understand what a Battlefield game is. DICE has done crazy great work with 3 and 4 and building up the modern military lately. And it kind of felt like, well, if we're going to do something, let's do something a little different with it. It was just really exciting to think that we could be a game in the Battlefield universe, really retain the great rocks, paper, scissors gameplay, but then really take it a different direction with the theme being cops and criminals. Hands up, now! Battlefield means a lot of different things to many different people, but that's one of the reasons why we're working so hard to understand what you think Battlefield is and what it should be. The rescue mode, that was the game mode where I felt like I was a cop, yep. you know, the, the most. It's pretty hard to get a kill with the sniper because it's not one shot, but if you make it one shot, it's going to be overpowered at some point. But, you need yeah, to find a balance to that, I guess. One thing I noticed was changing the scope alone changed the recoil on weapons, which was weird. Like using a red dot, I felt there was more recoil as opposed to the, one of the new optic sights, which brought the scope closer to your eye. Mm -hmm. I felt like there was much less recoil. So I think if you guys could look over those balancing issues with all the weapons. So David, I wanted to show you what it looked like when we completely removed the recoil animation and it was purely the weapon mechanics. When we slide this all the way down to zero, it just looks terrible. It doesn't look like you're really shooting a weapon. Yeah. I mean, you're still getting the, the muzzle climb and the muzzle flip. But it's you're not, not moving. Yeah. But if we blend it back in, now we've already removed the side to side from the rear sight, so it actually looks significantly better now. You can see that feels like shooting a real weapon. Yeah, it looks much better. You can see the gun actually moving back and forth. Right, and it's easier to observe your shots and to predict where they're going to go because the sight's not moving around. We've made all these changes based on your feedback. Now, as you know, we've got a beta that's coming up soon. And we highly encourage you to try it out and see if the game is for you. And this next beta is really big because it's open for everybody, and so we'll get to hear what all the different players have to say. This is a long-standing relationship, and, and people place their trust in us and we place their trust in them. So the beta is the start of that process. I'm in a Snuggie when I'm gaming. Right. I got the Snug on. Right. You gotta, you gotta get into the feel of what it's gonna be like out in the wild. You gotta Please. Snug up. Right. So I got the Snug.